Um, if it is modding there, obviously it might not be. Today we're going to try another game in the VK3002M. I was told by YouTube comments that it's only sluggish when you don't have the top engine, so I need to go and get the top engine because 700 horsepower engine on this tank would be amazing. But obviously, it is pretty expensive. And I've been invited to a platoon. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, too late. <laughs> it just wasn't quick enough. So let's go down, down south, down the railway roads. Railway road? Railway track? Railway path? I don't know. I need more caffeine in my life, if that's the problem. Obviously, the way I go is going to be the way that I shouldn't go, and that's how this game works. But the. I'm happy to see that the Map Mondays, the sort of series that Wargaming USA, that Wargaming North America are doing, has started to sort of go here are the. I was ambitious to say the least. They started to go, hey, you know, this is. A look at the maps based on what tank you're using and that's been very helpful just to remind I mean I was gonna say it's not anything I don't already know but that is a lie there's loads of stuff that I'm like oh yeah that makes sense you should go there as this tank can you see me that was bloody lucky okay well, we're gonna try playing this as a sniper until I get the better armor better armor better engine the armor doesn't get any better. It'd be nice if, well not nice, I can see why obviously they don't do it, but it'd be interesting to have sort of a consumable that's like extra armor you can apply to the front of your tank. It's sort of ablative, it'll get knocked off. Oh, no, thanks, try. Ugh. Come on, someone crest the hill. <laughs> that one's getting me nice. Where are you going? Get shot. Shoot you again. Oh, I, I miss. That Yao Panzer's probably looking straight at me now, isn't it? Yep. That was the Yao Panzer, that was. Hmm, this is actually. Is this an okay place to be? No, because you're coming up the hill. Angle, angle, angle. Better angle, please. Yeah, the front of that's going to be. And surely this is me. Got to get out of here. What? Why when I say I've got to get out of here? Do I not get out of here? Sorry, man. Just going to use you for cover. Hope you don't mind. Hey, um, alright, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I've got a lot to learn with this tank. I mean, this guy is really tunnel visioning that T-3485 over there. Operation hide behind enemy tanks for cover didn't really pay off. I think it was a good idea. Anyway, what have we got left? T-39. They are very grunt looking tanks. The American Heavy looks positively modern compared to most of the stuff I've got. I think that doesn't look out of place in the game of Command and Conquer. Poor Command and Conquer, there's a series that went downhill. I only had a good run. I remember I must have been like 13 or so early teens when the first Command Conquer game came out and that was pretty exciting. We're gonna get on 486 SX33 just about. Remember hmm anyway, yeah enough reminiscing. Let's watch someone hunt down this last this last tank. Gotta say we cleaned up pretty well. The city fight seemed to have gone well, no one seemed to have got through to our artillery. And that's just a case of hunting down the panther. And there it goes. Good job. Good job. 